How did Splish become a meme? How do any memes become memes? Halo style suits it better, Counter Strike style suits it even better still. Halo style is what we need right now so that people understand the maps better, but then once people understand the maps better and we can make educated decisions on which maps are best for competitive play, then we can start talking about things like which maps to allow. Into, a, into like a map pool kind of thing. Guys, we're cracking. Fuck me. Don't blame every loss on yourself. That is not the right thing to do. What you do is you say, what could I have done better that game? There's a difference between blaming yourself for everything that goes wrong, which just leads to a sort of self-loathing kind of, oh, I'm not good enough kind of thing. Kind of like what I do to myself. But more like... If you just sort of... So I'm gonna pick that up. I can guarantee that if you're like S rank and have decent aim, not S rank, if you are not S rank and don't, and you do have decent aim, one of your problems is you don't ink enough. Look at this. We have mid control because we inked. Oh, fuck, that's a kraken. <laughs> 
Hello. So, what just happened there? I actually, you know what, I'm gonna quit out of this game and I wanna show you guys what the fuck I'm talking about here. Instant replay time. Why did that push work so well? What's with the random Krakens coming out of nowhere? Dude, we were in their spawn. MGS, that's how it works though. You ink and you get kills as a result. I'm gonna, okay. We are gonna use the technology available to us for some instant replays. All right, let's see this. Okay, hang on, I'm just gonna... Okay, is this the start? Can I skip through this? No. I don't have that many, uh... The technology is not all there. Alright. So let's just go through this. I'll, uh, move this up a little bit more. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at this picture. What do you see? You see purple ink in the entire courtyard area. The only green ink is shit that they can't get to and shit in the little uh, bit behind the cage. What does this mean? It means that if they happen to get past the cage, which they do, they have to ink our courtyard. And by the courtyard, you know what, I'm just going to turn my mouse on for this. Um... Where is it? Capture mouse cursor. Okay. You guys can see this, yeah? Probably. Maybe. There we go. There we go. Alright. So. This courtyard area is inked. This up here is inked. This in here is not inked because, well, they've got control of it. But you can see where the teammates are, yeah? This shit. They can just sort of shoot in here really easily. Because nobody is going to be able to come through here and just swim straight up. They have to ink and make noise to do that. So we play it a little bit further. Yeah, 137. So we block the push because, you know, they would be dead no matter what happens there. Now here, you see the guy jump out, right? So alley is not a problem, I just suction it to make sure. Now, okay, let's, let's, just, let's just stop this here for a second. All of this purple shit that you see here was already inked. This shit, not so much. Basically, the green team came straight through, didn't bother to ink this very much, because otherwise we wouldn't have it inked already. And then they just sort of pushed in through here, and were like, yeah, screw that. That's, that's it. We're done. As you can see right here, we abused that to get positioning on them. I just zooked the shit out of them. And again, see, this guy right here. Okay, look. Oh, shit. I'm going to back up a little bit. Uh, hang on, what? It's new technology, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Take a look at what this guy's doing. And this guy, actually. Both of them. So. Look at how much ink coverage we have. We can swim around freely in here. If they want to push up, they have to deal with... But first of all, enemy ink, and they have no idea where we are. This guy is covering this area. This guy, I think he covers mid. Yep, he's covering the area. Look at that, look at that. Look at how much area we would then have to swim through. Like... Meanwhile, the enemy team can't do shit. This is the only... That position where that guy was is the only safe place they really had. And of course the Kraken comes in and Kraken doesn't do anything for inking, so I can just swim around nice and easily. Free kill. Ish. And now watch. We get up here. Oh gosh, their entire upper area is inked. 
we can just swim straight through. Thanks, team. And again, like, because the entire area is inked, taking the hills easy, this guy can dodge the Kraken, the Rainmaker can dodge the Kraken. This guy up here has to put his wall down all the way back, and he can't actually do anything to hurt the um, Rainmaker. And that means he has to move forward, which, mean, which means I can just uh, pop a suction on his wall and kill him. This guy over here has nowhere to go, because he's surrounded in purple ink. This guy can just run the fuck away, because, you know, he probably... You know, the Kraken has to react to everything he does, and literally Jukes probably is fine. And then, we push in. This guy, I think there's a guy there who just dies. Uh, yeah. It's that guy, yep. He just dies. Now, take a look. You remember how we had our entire courtyard inked. They have jack fucking shit. Like, we still have to ink this. But we can just walk in, they can't do anything to stop us. And there we go. Successful push. We take the lead. Because we maintained ink control, and that's something that these these guys up here, these teammates of mine, doesn't matter if they sucked at aiming, because I don't think they did anyway. I think they were actually doing pretty well. But they kept this shit inked. And by doing that, it meant that the Slayers on the team, i.e. me and the other guy who I think was the Rainmaker runner that time, could actually get up there and get some kills. And this guy just sort of cracking me. Um, because again, like, he was able to just sort of walk in. And, you know, you've got to remember, if we, if we fast forward this to the end here, okay, look at this shit. Why was this push so easy to block? Because I could just swim up to the Rainmaker and pop him. Like, holy shit. Do you see how easy this is? They have a strip of green ink. We have purple everywhere. All we do is we go, okay, fuck this. Hey look, the Rainmaker's coming. We don't need to engage that just yet. We can just hang back and chill for a bit. Let their teammate come up here and do whatever the fuck he's doing. I don't even care what he's doing. I just pop the Rainmaker. Instant win. And then, you look here. We still have control of this area. Even though they've inked mid a little bit. We still have control of this area and they, had, they push through it. If they come through here, they're still pushing up into this area here, which is completely under our control. Like, they have a couple of snail trails of fucking Kraken ink, and that's about it. And then if you look at the scoreline... These two guys were the ones who were inking in that push. So basically, the people with Japanese names. Alright. Oh, hang on. I... What did I just do? There we go. What the fuck? It's not... I must be pausing on keyframes or something. These aren't impressive scroll lines, are they? And yet these guys won us the game. These two guys, these two ten attacks, won us the game. They are the reason we made that push. They're t they're... This is not an amazing score line, you know? Like... <laughs> this guy got 14 and 8 with a fucking Octobrush. That's pretty... That's pretty nuts. But he kept going in too hard with the Octobrush. He would crack an in and then not get out. And you saw, he got caught out a couple of times. These guys were getting shit on by this guy. But because they maintained Nick control, the only way this guy could get in was with Krakens and by walking in with the brush, which meant that he was vulnerable to this guy and me. So I could just clean him up. And this guy, I don't know what the fuck he was doing. He had problems because, again, he's the 52 girl, and this is one of the problems with the 52 girl, is if you don't have ink control, you can't put your walls down in places where you can actually make use of them as a 52. You have to actually walk forward and get yourself shit on by suction bombs. So... This... is how you play S rank. You don't... This is how you play ranked in general. You don't fucking focus on kills. You focus on controlling territory, Controlling position, controlling movement, making sure... Like, you have... Okay, this game, right? This game literally has... A mechanic that tells you exactly where you can stand. Like, look at this shit. Tell me in five seconds the places where the green team can safely stand. It's not hard, is it? Here, here, not so much here because this is all inked. All of mid, all of our area completely safe. There's not anything 
that could possibly threaten a green a green team player, I, and I say that knowing full well that there is actually a green team out there, that can just stand here and fucking do whatever they want. Like, maybe they might not be able to accomplish very much from here, but, you know, they can stand here pretty safely. Then up here, oh, hang on, there's blue ink everywhere, we'd better be careful. There is a visual indicator of where you control on the map, and yet people still don't understand the concept of map control. It's just hilarious. So... Oh, and now we're... By the way, the map's rotated and all this. So, next time... Next time any of you are sitting there saying, I went 14 and 5, and we still lost. Let's take a look at a game. I'm going to see if I can find one of those games where that exact thing happened. Uh, that's the S43, is this? No. That's the 3 and O. That's the one where we got the 3 and whatever. No, nope, that's not it. Okay, maybe it's this one. That would actually no, that's the really quick one where we just got fucked. Alright, okay, so there's this one. I can't remember what my score was here. Uh Right, this is the one I just checked. I was meaning to look at the other one. Well actually we can go all the way back to the, the crack on ones. Wasn't there one that I lost back here? Somewhere? Maybe it was this one? Am I still using crack on here? Yeah. Alright. There we go. So, I went 10 and 7 here. Okay, well, that's the best ratio on my team. Um, oh wait, no, not quite. Not quite. 9 and 6 is a little bit better. But okay, we actually outslayed them here, and yet we got fucking trounced. Like, if you look at the score... I, actually, I think it was close. Yeah, this is the one... Yeah, this is one where I got fucked. Yeah, so we actually lost this. But why did we lose it? Well, let's take a look at the map. Okay, so we're blue team. They're yellow team. I'm pretty sure, as I recall... Okay. Let's take a look at this map. Uh, Judd's in the way. Fuck's sake, Judd. Get out. There we go. Sorry about the jitteriness, by the way. Okay. So, this was after a push, I believe. This was the one where, as I recall, this was the one where I actually got all the way up into here and started killing people in here. And you can see, look at mid. Look at how much yellow there is here. To be fair, I think some of that was probably put down like after the last push. But look at this. We didn't control mid very well at all. Even though we outslayed them, we didn't just, we didn't control the map properly. Just fucking... There was nothing we could do when every time we had to make a push, we had to push up through enemy ink, right? Because, first of all, that means we have to check every corner. If there's enemy ink, we have to check it. There's just no, you know, you can't not check enemy ink. Especially when there's rollers on the enemy team. Also, it meant that the enemy team could just be like, oh, I'm at spawn, I'm just going to walk down here in like five seconds, and I'll be able to get shots across here, and it's great. Whereas if we had inked this from below, they would have had to get to here, ink this shit, spend about five seconds doing so, and then, oh, the Rainmaker's already up here, shit, now I've got to go back. Oh, shit, now this is already inked again, because the guy down here is inking it. Like, this is basic concepts, basic concepts. Basic FPS concepts that are standard in every FPS game. This game tells you direct... Most FPS games, you have to fucking figure this out just by instinct and wit alone. In this game, there's a visual fucking indicator. It's not hard to understand. So, next time you think... Next time you don't understand why you lost a game, next time you are looking at your team's score spreads, uh, kill spreads, and saying, what the fuck were they doing? Next time you look at an enemy team that you are outfragging with ease, and you say, how did we lose to this? I guarantee it's because you didn't have map control. <laughs>